this is one of my favorite uh, abstracts. Uh, we report a small series of eight hospitalized patients who undergoing allogenic hematopoietic cell transplantation who had severe refractory thrombocytopenia with bleeding complications uh, due to alloimmunization. So the uh, three options are limited for these patients, uh, patients who develop alloimmunization uh, and are undergoing allogenic transplantation. They don't respond to random donor platelet in their transfusions and HLA matched or cross matched platelets are not always readily available. Yes, you know, so usually they are treated with slow platelet infusions, but bleeding complications are challenging. Uh, need for procedures uh, that could be challenging in this patient population. So we treated them with. Uh, there is some data with uh, using continuous IVIG and platelet infusion in severe, you know, ITP that is uh, immune thrombocytopenic purpura. So we extrapolated that data and we gave these patients uh, continuous infusion of IVIG two grams per kilo. Uh, given over 48 hours, along with a platelet infusion, one random donor platelets over eight hours, uh, given as a continuous infusion. And we saw uh, platelet responses in all patients. So 63 uh, patients, so five out of these eight patients uh, had their platelet count above 50,000 from single digits. Uh, all of the patients had platelet counts above 20,000 and bleeding complications resolved or did not happen after this treatment in all of the patients. So this is very encouraging data and, and provides evidence for use of IVIG in this patient population. Also provides uh, some background uh, hypothesis generating data to use some of the newer agents uh, that are being used in ITP for this patient population, such as daratumab or antibodies targeting the FC receptors.